Earlier, we talked about the non-economic good of the horse and the nigger in the wild or natural state. We talked about the principle of breaking and tying them together for orderly production. Furthermore, we talked about paying particular attention to the female savage and her offspring for orderly future planning. Then more recently, we stated that by reversing the positions of the male and female savages, we created an orbiting cycle that turns on its own axis forever unless a phenomena occurred and reshifts positions of the male and female savages. Our experts warned us about the possibility of this phenomena occurring, for they say that the mind has a strong drive to correct and recorrect itself over a period of time if it can touch some substantial original historical base. And they advised us that the best way to deal with the phenomena is to shave off the brute's mental history and create a multiplicity of phenomena of illusions so that each illusion will twirl in its own orbit something similar to floating balls in a vacuum. This creation of multiplicity of phenomena of illusions entails the principle of crossbreeding the nigger and the horse, as we stated above, the purpose of which is to create a diversified division of labor, thereby creating different levels of labor and different values of illusion at each connecting level of labor. The results of which is the severance of the points of original beginnings for each sphere illusion. Since we feel that the subject matter may get more complicated as we proceed in laying down our economic plan concerning the purpose, reason, and effect of crossbreeding horses and niggers, we shall lay down the following definition terms for future generations. Orbiting cycle means a thing turning in a given path. Axis means upon which or around which a body turns. Phenomena means something beyond ordinary conception and inspires awe and wonder. Multiplicity means a great number, means a globe. Crossbreeding a horse means taking a horse and breeding it with an ass and you get a dumb, backward, ass, long-headed mule that is not reproductive nor productive by itself. Crossbreeding niggers means taking so many drops of good white blood and putting them into as many, as many nigger women as possible, varying the drops by the various tone that you want, and then letting them breed with each other until another circle of color appears as you desire. What this means is this. Put the niggers and the horse in a breeding pot, mix some asses and some good white blood, and what do you get? You got a multiplicity of colors of ass-backward, unusual niggers running tied to backward-ass, long-headed mules, the one productive of itself, the other sterile. The one constant, the other dying. We keep the nigger constant for we may replace the mules for another tool. Both mule and nigger tied to each other, neither knowing where the other came from and neither productive for itself nor without each other.